Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48's World, where we do news. Okay? Well, I have to say, Lord have mercy, I don't know what the men are going to do. Yes, their baby, their pride and joy, their lingerie is going in the wind, pretty much. Okay? I don't know what we're going to have them do with their time, other than sexualizing women these days okay victoria's secrets if you haven't heard is going out of business in some cities okay they are strategizing to close 53 stores again 53 stores all right i get this information from q13 fox news the uh title is headed victoria's secrets to close 53 stores. And this by the Tribune, Tribune Media Wire, published today um, around 3.56 p.m. It reads, Victoria's Secrets plans to close 53 stores this year as more women desert the brand for lingerie startups and big retailers. Yes, the consumer is shopping for a deal, okay? And evidently, Victoria's Secret hasn't been giving out them many deals, all right? It says sales at stores open at least a year fell 7% during Victoria's Secret's most recent quarter. Parent company L Brand said Wednesday, the company's other flagship brands, Bath and Body Works, did well. Other retailers, including Walmart and Best Buy, have performed strongly in recent months. And the economy is strong, but Victoria's Secret and its team brand, Pink, have struggled. Victoria's Secret has failed to adapt to consumer demand for more custom-fitting bras and inclusive messaging and advertisements. Although marketing trends and lingerie have changed, Victoria's Secret has mostly stuck to the same playbook that helped it dominate the industry, push up bras, and celebrity models. Victoria's Secret relied on heavy promotions to draw customers to its stores during the holidays. The types of discounts that generally hurt margins, L Brand's CEO Stuart Vagadorf said the company has been more promotional than we would like over the last several years in a call with analysts Thursday. The difficult holiday season period and planned store closures are the latest turmoil for the brand. In November, Victoria's Secret CEO resigned. In December, its annual fashion show sunk to its worst rating ever. The company closed 30 stores last year as it tried to escape weak malls. The company has lost $3.8 million customers over the two past years to rivals like Amazon and American's Eagle area, according to an estimate from Neil Saunders, analyst at Global Data Retail. Victoria's Secret's path to a turnaround looks challenging, too. L Brand's forecast for 2019 disappointed Wall Street, sending its stock down 7% in early trading Thursday. It has plunged more than 40% in the past year. We are taking a fresh look, hard look, at everything in the business. Bergerdorfer said of plan changes to fix Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret still has more than 950 stores in the United States. Competition in the lingerie industry has increased in recent years. Startups like Adore Me and Third Love have broken Victoria's Secret's grip on the industry by selling better fitting bras and using everyday women, not models and advertising. In an attractive category, Bergerdorf said of the lingerie business, big retailers also threatened Victoria's Secret. Target launched a new bra line and underwear brand for women and teenage girls called Auden, Auden on Monday. Auden bras will cost $22 and under. Lululemon and Walmart have also expanded their efforts in the space. The company did not rule out ending the fashion show or using more inclusive marketing, but shifting its identity could prove difficult, said Janine Stitcher, an analyst at Jeffries. People identify Victoria's Secret with what it's been for the last 20 years. Very sexy and airbrushed models, she said. 
if they were going to pivot now, I don't think it would come off as authentic. They don't have a great option. Okay. And that was that story for Victoria's Secret in the closing. I'm like, my opinion, Victoria's Secrets have always been a racy type, male dominant uh, type of um, lingerie business catered to making women look more sexier to them. And then sometimes you do have a set percentage of women in the world that want to dress very feminine, want to be enticing and alluring to their mates. You know what I'm saying? So I can see both sides, but it's going to hit the men a little harder. A little harder. But Victoria's Secret, no. With online e-commerce, better sales, and getting it shipped to your door ASAP is what's in, what's hot, and what's trending. Victoria's Secret, come on. If you want to last, you want those customers to come in on Valentine's Day uh, and any other day during the month or any other time during the month throughout the years or year, you're going to have to step your game up. You're going to have to have that better fitting bra that sits up on its own. You don't necessarily have to have the wire and all this uncomfortableness, you know. They need to get it for the big fluffy women that are out there adoring their body, embracing their body because, hey, everybody can't be skinny. Everybody not workout fanatics. It just is what it is, you know. So my thing is cater to the woman, the average woman. You know what I'm saying? We're out there too. We're making it rain in every atmosphere that I can see. So cater more to achieving and receiving those uh, clientele uh, instead of the skinny model like like looking uh, famished type individuals. Okay, we want to have fun too, but we want to have underwear that fits us, not just drape and, and wrap like a little rope around us. If you catch my drift, okay. But anyway, I just thought y'all should know about it, be about it, so y'all can feel some way about it okay or not but that was my news that was a heavy hidden one at the time i'll be back for more challenging news news on entertainment everyday news and whatever i feel like i want to bring out to talk with y'all about okay just want to give you that fyi it's gonna hurt more on uh, men than women victoria's secret is closing its doors hopefully they won't close their doors on every global scale if you get my drill. All right, peace and blessings.